surviving Fakari. The first Australian witness to give evidence remembered the traumatic moments she clung to consciousness. I could feel my hands burning, becoming red, then bubbling, then it kind of like skins kind of bubbles and almost wanting to fall off and my nails kind of splitting apart. She asked the court to hide her face as she recounted the desperate ride away from the volcano. There was a little hole in the boat that I could see water and a bit of land. I remember just seeing it getting closer and closer, but every time I was going to give up, they were just saying, you know, it's, it's only five minutes. And the screaming grew a lot more and the crying grew a lot more in the boat. And I remember asking for mum. And then the moment she reached help. A male police officer asked me for my name and where I was from. I told him that and he, I think he marked an X across my head. Ms Lu, one of the Australian survivors of an eruption that killed 22 people. New Zealand's workplace health and safety regulator alleges the volcano's owners and two tourism companies did not adequately understand or manage the risk of allowing tours on the island. The trial also heard from helicopter pilot Brian DePau, who had flown four tourists to the island. When was your first unsupervised or solo flight to Fakati with Volcanic Air? That was the 9th of December, so it was the morning of the eruption. The court heard minutes after touching down on the volcano, it erupted beneath him. No, no, no. The trial continues next week when more witnesses will give evidence on what they understood about the risk of an eruption and ultimately how they survived one. Emily Clark, ABC News.